Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Zephyrus, which is an automatic system controller, and the Touch 1, which is a PC switch. What's included with the Zephyrus is a USB cable, a power cable, three thermal sensors, four three-pin fan cables, a three-pin extended cable, some stickers, a CD with drivers and software, a manual, one screw for mounting the controller in the expansion slot. And what's included with the Touch 1 is a quick installation guide, the power input cable, the motherboard switch cable, a cable tie, double-sided tape, the touch activator, and the controller. Installing these efforts is very easy to do. Just find a free expansion slot at the back of your computer system and install it. A couple of connections you need to make here. First, one from here to your power supply and the other one at the back from here into your computer's USB port. After that, you can connect up to five fans right here, and you can connect up to three extended channels right here, and three thermal sensors right here. When connecting the Touch 1, make sure the system is powered off. Next, remove the 20 pin lead from your motherboard. That will just make it a lot easier when doing this. Next, take this power input cable and connect it into the back of this 20 pin lead. You need to do this correctly. The purple right here goes to the purple right here, which is pin 9. The black here goes to the black here, which is pin 7. I'll show you how this works. You just press it in on the back till it's all the way down. Now, right here, there are two areas on the back of this piece of plastic where you can just kind of feed these two cables through. And next you would use the included cable tie to secure it. And now just have a closer look. And then take this power input cable and go into the controller right here. Next use the included motherboard switch cable. Connect it right here, then go into the motherboard power connection. And next, take the cable that's connected to the case's power switch and connect it right here. And finally, connect the touch activator. But when you're doing this, be very careful. You do not want to touch any part of this metal right here with the case. Make sure it goes in all the way, like so. The first thing you'll need to do is set up the unit. This software is where you do it. The first thing I will show you is system information. You can also change the look on the software right here and control the five fans. You can set them to an automatic mode or a user defined mode. You've also got a number of options here for extended channel control and you can shut down the system at a certain predefined temperature and you can also shut it down at a predefined date or time and right here you can assign names to the different sensors and at the bottom you can sound a warning at a certain predefined temperature you also can record all this information and play it back later and finally you've got a direct fan mode where you can directly control the speed on the fans the dashboard software will show whether the extended ports are on or off. Also, five analog meters. Each one of these will show the fan speed in percentage. And a text window. Right now, it's showing the CPU speed, the usage, and the different temperatures. And an FFT window, which will show real time what's going on. The Z panel software shows the fan speed in percentage as well as the different temperatures, the power voltage, the CPU usage, the memory usage, and whether the extended channels are on or off. Both of these products will offer more control of your computer system. The Zephyrus allows you to control up to five fans, three extended channels, and you can connect three 
thermal sensors into it and also monitor all kinds of system information through their software. Now the Touch One is essentially a case power switch. Anyone has a case underneath their desk and that case has a door and the switch on the case is inside the door is going to love this product because every single time you want to turn on the computer system you've got to lean down underneath your desk you've got to open the door you have got to turn on the case it can be a real pain this is a product that you'll wonder how you did without before you started using it it's very very convenient and I do like it quite a bit both of these products are great Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.